Hi, my name's Rowan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire So Girl. Are you sick of me yet? <laughs> I know I've just uploaded an unboxing. I'm like the unboxing queen right now, aren't I? Because I got gifted one from Kristen from the Dahlia Society. <laughs> but um, whilst I was at work, my Think Pink subscription box was delivered. I said that straight away without fluffing it because I normally do when I come to say the Think Pink subscription box. So I'm quite proud of myself. Um, I'm going to address the elephant in the room, okay, first before we do anything. Yes, I have got literally the brightest cardigan you have ever seen in your life. I mean, really, I could kind of direct aircraft with this. This off, you know, if it was the middle of the night, I would light the way. Um, <clears throat> in fact, my children have just called me a human highlighter. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, but yeah, I saw it in a little boutique shop in my local town in Osset and I uh, just loved it. And I know I said I was going to embrace colour in one of my last videos, but I don't know if I've taken it just a step too, <laughs> too far. My colleague kept doing this to me today, Kelly. Every time she looked over, she <laughs> And at one point she said to me, have you seen the colour of the wall behind you? It's literally bright yellow. <laughs> and it was. But, you know, I'm loving it. I'm not wearing any me made today. Not one stitch. This is a t-shirt I got from a charity shop. I've got jeans on from Primani. Not from Primani, Matalan. And now I've got this outrageous fluorescent cardigan on. But, you know. I'm loving it. I do think I just need some like reflective strips down the front of here there when I could go and help out with the roadworks that are on the end of my road. But anyway, I've digressed already. So I have got this. It's here. It's ready to open. I haven't opened it yet. Obviously, I like to do it with you guys. Oh, is that a new sticker? Open me pretty things await inside. <laughs> I will open you. Oh, yes, I will. So let's let's get in. Let's get this party started. Oh, and see what awaits us inside this parcel from Andrea. Oh yes, yes, yes. So as you know, it comes like so. I'm not going to show you the postcard straight away because that's actually got the fabric on it, and I can't. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. I've seen it obviously. I'm going to show you the back of the postcard and it says never let your lipstick or your bobbin run out i've got lipstick on just for you guys today just wipe and wang a little bit on that's postcard shall we see what bits are in here so andrea messaged me today and said i've just watched your unboxing Kristen's unboxing i can't wait to see your reaction when you open my box that is due with you anytime now and i think i know why so i'm going to go into that one first so <laughs> oh andrea you got it because i've seen something like this already i'm sorry if i spoil your surprise look at this it's like a lipstick and look on the bottom it says beyond the pink door i know what this is going to be when i open it oh <laughs> for anybody who hasn't seen my other unboxing that i load uploaded yesterday look I can't believe that. That is uncanny. Now, I know Andrea has helped Kristen with her boxes to get her help, gave her some advice on getting started and some hints and tips and things like that. But have you two been buying things at the same time? What's going on? How cool is that? It's amazing, isn't it? So for anybody who didn't watch my other video, it is like a lipstick. But when you pop it up, it's a pin cushion. I am loving this. And inside, there's actually five different sized needles. How cool are they? I mean, I'd never seen one of these before until yesterday. <laughs> and now I've seen two. That is really cool. I might give this one to my mum because um, I think that would come in really handy to just have that, you know, about because I've obviously got two. Thank you, Andrea. That is so funny just bizarre is it not is it not okay so let's dive in what else have we got in here we've got a, a pretty little parcel and it's got a little sticker that says handmade with love on it 
Sorry. Loads of rustling, but you know how it is. Right, what's in here? What's in here? <gasps> no. Oh, wow. Oh, they are beautiful. Let me get them. They've just rocked up a bit. Let me just... Oh, how cute is that? Little pair of handmade earrings. Created Charis. Created by Charis. Charis. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Looks like Charis to me, but it could be Charis because obviously it's Irish. How cute are they? So they're little silver studs and then they've got little like polymer clay white hearts, which are my favourite shape as well, with little flecks in them. Can you see them if I bring them up close? I'm not sure if you can. How beautiful are they? Hmm. And we've got a little card here that says thank you for your support and where you can find them online. So they're on Instagram, etc. Um, and we get a little discount code off our next purchase as well. So I'll be going and checking them out because you know what I'm like for my earrings. Well, that's a nice present, isn't it? Oh, we've got some self-cover buttons. Thank you very much. I have got some, but I think they're, I've only got the big ones left. They're really diddy. How, how big are those ones? 11 millimetres. See, they would have come in handy when I was doing my Rita dress because I didn't have enough buttons. Mind you, I probably would have needed more. But I needed small buttons. I didn't have many small buttons. So they're always really handy to have in your stash because if you can't find a button that matches, you just wang some fabric on them and you've got matching buttons. So they're going in my stash. Thank you very much, Andrea. Um, Oh, we've got an invisible zip. Go has a long one. Look at that. 22 inch zip. That's pretty good, isn't it? White one. And it is an invisible zip. Oh, that's a really good quality one as well. You can always tell by the puller, can't you? So it's got like a, a beautiful silver puller. And what I like about this is it's one of those lighter weight ones. So, you know, sometimes you put a zip into light viscose fabric and it's really heavy and you can really tell. This is one of the lighter ones. So I think they... They're a lot nicer when you're putting them into a lighter fabric. So that's going in my stash as well. Yeah. And then let's get on to the main thing, shall we? This is my thread colour. <laughs> Hello. I mean, could it get any better than that colour? I don't think so. That is my colour. Now, do you want to see the fabric? It is a viscose, I believe. Two and a half metres of this. I'm just looking at my little my little note that I've got. Are you ready? Are you ready? Boom! <laughs> How nice is that? So it's all pinks, purples, whites and yellows. Now, I love yellow with purple because it's the opposite of the colour spectrum. What do we think? That is beautiful. I'm not normally a ditzy flower print, but there's something about that that's really, yeah. It's almost like, not patchwork, but I don't know. I just, it's gorgeous and it feels beautiful. Uh, and it's, <clears throat> I've had some of these ones before that's got that down the selvage, um, fabrics for your creativity. And I have never been disappointed with the quality. Feels really nice. How lovely and drapey is that? Oh, that would be gorgeous on holiday. Here we go. I'm going to end up changing all my making plans now, aren't I? That is really beautiful, isn't it? Look at my fluorescent trying to pop out. Look. Beep, beep. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love that. You know what that make, wouldn't you? Don't you? I'm not going to say either of them. I need to find a nice new pattern daughter for this because I think this is beautiful and it's screaming summer dress to me. I think um, I made the Tammy Handmade Rear Dress and um, I absolutely love that. And I'm thinking that would make a beautiful one. Oh, I'm going to start having to think about what I want to make with that because I know I keep dropping it into conversation, but I've got a holiday coming up in October. <laughs> Not that I need any more summer dresses, but <sighs> I do like that a lot. Oh, and now I'll show you the postcard. Where, what did I do with it? Where have I put it, people? There it is. So you can see here, look, and that's why I didn't want to show you because it looks like there's different colourways as well on there. So there's my one, the pink one. And then it looks like there is a navy blue one with blue and yellow. There is a 
really dark blue with cobalt blue and orange I think in it. It looks like anyway and then there's a black background with green, white and hints of pink. They're all really nice colourways as well actually. I'm looking at them and going which one would I have preferred? I think I got the one I'd have wanted because <laughs> it's pink obviously. Love it, love it, love it. So let's run through what we got. Two and a half metres of this beautiful viscose. Matching thread. Gorgeous pair of little earrings. They are the sweetest thing ever. Love them. Some self-cover buttons. A really big, long, gorgeous, invisible zip. And a piece of resistance. <laughs> a little lipstick pin cushion. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. And of course, with that, I'll just flash it really quickly is also a um, QR code and basically that accompanies the, um, this box and you get a bespoke vlog from Andrea that talks all about the box and its contents and hints and tips and things like that as well. So I'm going to go and have a little watch of that right now. But I, I know obviously I subscribe to a couple of boxes. I subscribe to So Hayley Jane and I subscribe to this box and I absolutely love them. I know I've done more than those two unboxings recently and that's because Kristen very kindly um, gifted me um, one of her boxes all the way from Australia but it, I think it's just really nice although I've had I'm going to have had three boxes this month the element of surprise is still just as exciting each time maybe that's just me someone messaged me the other day and said watching you unbox a box is like watching my kids on Christmas morning <laughs> yeah kind of like it I love the element of surprise and if I see like any hints anywhere on Instagram or anything I'm like literally like don't show me don't show me don't show me because I really want it to be a surprise so I have never been disappointed in one of Andrea's boxes the fabrics are absolutely beautiful so thank you very much ladies you've absolutely smashed it out of the park yet again if anybody does want to check out the subscription boxes I'll pop the link and everything down below I don't think there's any left from this month I think I noticed that Andrew put a post up saying there was one left so I'll probably have gone by now um but next month they'll be up again so um if you don't want to actually subscribe to them I think there's whatever is left over however many she can get out there you can then go and purchase one as well I am not paid this is no affiliate link this is just my love of beyond the pink door and the subscription boxes so I'll pop all the details below and if you want to go check it out you can do but let me know in the comment section below, as always, your suggestions for this beautiful fabric. Fab. Right, next time, maybe I'll come at you with um, a bit of a vlog with more sewing content other than me unboxing a box and getting dead excited. Who knows? I need to do my August plans. I still haven't done my June makes and obviously I haven't done my July makes. And the reason for that is because, as you know, I've been completely gutting my living room and it's been horrendous. Um, we've had a few setbacks and things like that, but we finally had carpet fitted one night this week. Oh, just bliss. But we've done other things with our understairs cupboard that we're trying to sort out. So there's still stuff everywhere and everything is in my spare room. And that's where I normally take my photos of all of my outfits, etc. So I think what I'll end up doing is just coming to you with a massive bumper video in August of the things that I've made over the last couple of months. So who knows? But I think my next one will be my August plans. So hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.